Hi guy, today I thought we'd have a look at the GPD XD, which is basically a portable emulating system running on Android, which will pretty much do anything that you throw on it, within reason of course. Now I have uh, uh, reviewed a long time ago the uh, uh, JS7800B, which is one of my all time favourite portable handhelds, until this beauty came along. Let's uh, have a closer look at it. Now straight away size wise you might be thinking well it looks pretty big you know compared to the size of my hand but it's roughly the size of a, a Nintendo DS and not the original one. A uh, quick look around the outside. I, I've got the blue model but they do a black and a red one. Each one has a, a different t uh, size of uh, uh, sorry internal memory. Mine's 32 gig but you can get a 64 gig one and on top here there's a mini, that's it's that slice, it's the uh, mini SD card and I think you can go up to 128 gig, it might be a bit more, I'm not sure but I will say with 32 gig uh, I've only got two cards, uh, uh, sorry, well, sorry, I've only got the one extra card which I've loaded with um, like really really big ISOs like GameCubes and uh, PS1 games and you know stuff like that, stuff that's absolutely massive but for the fact that this has got 32 gig built internally, I've loaded it with NES, SNES, Mega Drive, Game Gear, Game Boy, and you know, all, pretty much everything. It's an absolutely amazing system. Anyway, let's uh, just have a quick look inside. Now, as you can see there, you've got uh, it's like it feels like a PS1 controller in a way when you, when you uh, hold it. There is a uh, shoulder buttons on either side. They, they are a bit clicky. You can hear that well. Uh, you get two thumb sticks, which are very. They, when you put your thumb on, take them off. They flick back to the centre, so they're quite responsive like that. Uh, that's a nice, really nice uh, D-pad. It's uh, it's not spongy. It's not thick. It doesn't stick or anything. And I've been using this for uh, quite a bit now. Start, select, typical buttons really. Uh, what's that? L2. Oh, I nearly knocked the camera. <laughs> L2 and R3. Again, if you're playing PS1, PS1 games, those are quite handy. Now, all these buttons can be programmed for other things. A home button for when it's in use, or a return button. A, B, X, and Y. Typical Xbox style looking uh, controllers. And up here, you've got things like volume up and down, nice and simple. Power button. Uh, I think that's the uh, yeah, uh, controller options. I'll show you that in a minute. And uh, that's like a menu button. Now, I very rarely use that. But again, everything can be reprogrammed. So let's just uh, fire it up. Now, as you see here, it's a touch screen. So, and a very nice touch screen as well. Anyway, let's just uh, move that across. Now, when you get it, you uh, you do get. Does come with uh, a few emulators built in. Not sure how well you can see that. There we go. You can all see them lined up across the bottom there. Happy Chick, a general emulator, KD. You know, uh, one I put on myself, a uh, PSP emulator, so I could play um, Police Knots. It will do main games quite well. I've not really got many on at the moment. N64, I'll show you one in a bit. I probably can't actually because they're all Nintendo versions I've got there. Uh, again, these are just general options. DC, so you can have it. Shit, I'm put Shenmue on there. You have, to, you have to mess around putting the BIOS on. It's a bit fiddly, but uh, it's beyond that, it's quite good. Game menu, I don't really use that. I've got everything under application. Now, on, as you can see, I've got a good. You can, there's, it's got access to the Google Play Store, so anything you see on there, you can pretty much put on this. I've got Amiga Forever on there, so this will play Amiga games. Now, the great thing is, it's got a HDMI out, so you can plug it into the TV and then just play it. Uh, well, you know, portable games on your TV. So, uh, uh, well, this is the other thing. You can use the included emulators. I'm not a big fan, but over the uh, last few years, especially with the other systems I've been using, I have I, I basically picked up what I think are the best emulators available on the Play Store, which are the Dot Emus. Uh, as you can see them there, they only cost they cost a couple of quid, uh, but they're always updated. Quite this is never I've never had any problems with anything running on them. I'm really uh, quite chuffed with them. Oh, that's another thing, you can put Android games in, that's uh, Leisure Suit Larry, The Return. 
There's a re that was just a normal uh, uh, place. There you go. That's the Play Store. Uh, Turbo Graphics Emulator. Game Boy. Oh, that was just something I was playing with. I forgot to uninstall it. Real 3D Old Player. Uh, I forget what that one is. <laughs> SNES Emulator. Scum VM, of course. You can use the touchscreen or the controls with it. It's entirely up to yourself. Tinkor Key Map. That's for uh, mapping stuff. Some of these are really worth getting. That's um, that's a Mega emulator, VLC player, if you want to watch videos. One of the problems I did find with this is the volume on it was really quiet because it's actually limited by the, 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 the device design, but I found if I stuck that on it, cost me about a quid, it would go beyond the volume capable, you know, available on the machine, and it really does help. It really, really does. The sound is quite, it's not too bad, it's quite loud. I think you've got a headphone jack on this, so uh, which works a treat. Uh, Lynx emulator there. PS1 emulator. Tap dance, of course. I was, I was trying to play Spectrum games through this program and export it from this, but it just would not do it. It just would not work, Spectira. Anyway, let's have a look at uh, how it emulates games and that. There we go, my favourite NES emulator. A to start it up. Now this is nice simple uh, uh, menu. Load a game. As you can see there, I've got loads. Castlevania Chorus of Music. That's a, a, a fan game, but I thought, what the hell? Ducktales. Fantastic Adventures of Dizzy. Let's have a look at that. Press the A button. Continue. We'll restart the game. It's a quite a nice big uh, screen as well. It is a bit glossy. I mean, I'm filming on the camera, so it, you know it's really, really bright in here. So that's why you're getting that reflection. But use ah, oh, I've got the volume up as well. So there we go. A bit loud. <laughs> Straight away, you know, spot on emulation. Dizzy and Daisy has been captured. You know, I like to say there, banging the button, you see Dizzy, very responsive. It's, uh, you can change the controls for every game, you can do that through the options, or as I said before, if you press the, you see it there, the gamepad one. It's basically just like you would have on a tablet, and you can, there's like, the controller sticks like, that, that's like the left one, and there's the right one, and, and you know, the, the D-pad, and you can move them about the screen and assign it to different, but it's a very, very clever thing, and the great thing is you can assign that by game, and then save it as you want, so, uh, and be, you know, between programs as well, so let's just go back uh, home, right. it's hard to do this around the camera. But like I say, one of the greatest things about it that I've found is that it'll do PS1 emulation. Uh, again, you've got to get the right app for it, and you've got to run the... Uh, oh, God, I've gone back, I've gone back, back. B, run a game. I'm using the touchscreen, but... I've only got Castlevania Symphony and the Night on at the moment. But uh, if we just go home, that's on that emulator. There is some inbuilt ones which run quite well as well. I did. Oh, I must have taken. I'm sorry, guys. I must have taken it off. Let's have a look at an N64. N64 is one of the most difficult things to bloody uh, uh, emulate. But uh, Bomberman Extreme G. I'm just thinking Road Rash 64. That'll be a. That's just the program kicking off. Come on. There you go. Nope, that sounds terrible. Oh, no, where's the start button? Hang <laughs> on. Alright. Oh, I've, I've, I've. I don't know what the buttons are. <laughs> nope. But anyway, as you can see there, it is emulating a, a <laughs> N64 game. I just don't know what the hell I've done to it. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, let's uh, just quick look at. DC emulation in general it, it, it's a bit clunky uh, uh, but then I'm gonna think DC emulation on any, anything is so I'll just have a quick look at that one classic symbol this is emulating the US system I think yeah because it's the US Dreamcast logo because the UK one is blue
Cool, mum. It is literally like playing the original discs. I had to get Shenmue. I got so excited. The thing is, they're absolutely uh, uh, massive. <laughs> yes. And screen is a bit dusty. I did give it a good wipe down, so I apologise for that. It's just looks like crud. <laughs> Now, if you look at the, the quality, the emulation up close, and it's like playing it on a VGA, you know, it's really, really razor sharp. And of course, you can export that off to your uh, HDMI TV. Now, I don't think uh, it doesn't have, it won't work with a Bluetooth controller, I'm afraid, so uh, you're out of luck if you want that. Here we go. Stunt sound doesn't, isn't too bad at all. Uh, like I say, the emulation isn't perfect on the uh, on the Dreamcast, but uh, again, it depends on your system. So yeah, anyway, uh, it, it's a really I'm really chuffed with this. I mean, I've had it ages now. It's uh, it took over the uh, other system I had for it. I ended up uh, selling it in the end. What what can I say? And I've actually been using this because it's really handy to uh, boot games I have. Uh, like I say, a few of them there. Enduro Racer, which is the Japanese version. Restart game. Best game ever bloody made. 2 1. And the Jap Japan version's got more courses. Anyway, that's that excitement over with. This is a really, really nifty little system. Uh, you can get them on eBay, I think, for about 120 as of recording. Funstock has them in for about 180, 190 quid. Uh, they've been like that for a good 12 months at least, so uh, that, I'm sure that price will come down eventually. But uh, yeah, highly recommended. It. It's uh, an awesome little system, and uh, I love it to bits. Anyway, as always, guys, thanks for watching, and please look forward to another video soon. I love this game so, so much. <laughs>